Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. So today I'm going to be making <clears throat> two pear squishies. Not like the food pear, but squishies that go together. So some people are very creative, and they put salt on watermelon, like my dad. My dad put salt on watermelon. I don't think it's very good, but I, I just wanted to make... A squishy of that and you're wondering why is there this piece of foam here because I'm gonna be making the salt squishy out of foam but I'm going to be making the watermelon squishy out of paper so it's technically a match squishy I'm gonna be using foam for the salt and then um, I'm going to be using paper stuff for the watermelon. So some, so I'm not going to go ahead and scramble around and grab everything. Because for the foam, I'm going to be using a Sharpie. Um, and some colored pencils. So, well not for the foam. Okay, so anyways, I have this squishy kit that I made. It is a squishy kit and it has all the things you need in it. So it has a little instruction sheet. Let me read it for you. It says how to, how to make a paper squishy. Draw your squishy color, which is optional. Cut it out, tape the size, leave it open. Stuff it with stuffing, tape the side, squish all day. I like this because it's cute, funny, and here is your piece of paper that you will use. Sorry there's like a glare, it's because of the sun, it's literally the brightest thing out in the world. So I have all my things, and let's get squishing. So, I'm making this because my friend really wanted a squishy tutorial. Here you go, friend. So I'm going to use my iPad for a little, like, desk. So the first one I'm going to make is the salt, because I feel like it's going to be faster. So you are going to sketch out your salt with a Sharpie. So I'm just going, and I don't want it to be too big. This is totally lopsided, so I'm just going to fix that. And so, I don't know if you can see it at all, but so then I'm going to draw a little S. And then a little face. So I'm going to circle the S. And there's my salt squishy. So now I'm going to cut it out. And if you're wondering what type of foam this is, this is technically packing foam because I get a package from my family that has chocolate covered strawberries in it. And so that the strawberries won't get like all ruined um, from like maybe they don't, so they don't bounce around. They have this foam so that in case it bounces around that it doesn't get out of the packaging. So they put this foam above it. So this is a struggle, but I made it through. Now I'm going to trim some of the edges a little bit. And I'll see you guys when I think 
it looks pretty good. So here's my salt squishy. It's not all that great, but come on, give me a break. I haven't done a squishy in a million years. And it's not that solarizing because it's not supposed to be. But I still like it, and I didn't want to do the back because I thought it was going to be, like, pretty annoying. So I might, probably, maybe. Like I said, I said I might do the back, and I did. So now we're going to do the watermelon. So here I have my paper, and for this you will need paper, scissors, any kind of coloring utensil, tape, stuffing and then a pencil and I have that in a little baggie so basically you're gonna take a piece of paper and then grab a pencil wherever the pencil may be or you can use a pen. So I'm going to not make it that big. But since this is pretty big, I'm going to make it a little big. So I'm actually going to do it this way. So that one at the top, the top is already closed. And I'm going to make two little lines. Hopefully that's in the frame. And then I'm going... To round it out. Then to make the rind, I am just going to just pretend that I messed up and then just I'm going to trace. And there you go. So I might make it a little bigger, not too sure. So now you can add whatever you want. I'm going to add a little kawaii face. And then some watermelon seeds. You can add as many as you want. And I think that's good. Now you can take your Sharpie or whatever you're using to color your squishy. So I'm actually going to go with this and make it a little bit darker. And then color the seeds black. You can color the seeds like a peach color because I know the black ones aren't really good. But usually, watermelon seeds on my camera and stuff are black so i just need them black so my red marker is kind of dying so i'm just going to use this red sharpie so now that i finished the red you can't really see it that well and i put another piece of paper so that it wouldn't bleed through on my um on my ipad so now i am going to color the rind green Here's how it looks. And now you are now you are supposed to cut it out. I'm sorry, I, I can't speed it up. Just I don't really have the right like thingy. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, but Here's my cute little watermelon. Now you're going to tape some of the sides. I'm not taping this one because it's already sealed. So you don't have to tape that one. And I don't usually tape the back of my squishies. I mean, I don't usually color the back of my squishies. So don't get, like, upset about it, please. So, yeah. Now that I taped most of the sides I have one little bit open and to make it easier for me I go ahead and put tape on it but I don't usually cover it so then I 
when I'm ready, I could just fold it over. Now you're going to grab stuffing. You can grab as much as you think you need. And then I kind of roll it into a little ball so that it, I can just stuff it right inside my watermelon or whatever squishy you're making. So I am... And then repeat. So, sorry for the very long video, but are you guys ready to see the salt and watermelon squishy? First, here is the salt squishy. It's really cute. And then here is the watermelon. I really like it because it's actually pretty squishy. So comment down below if you want me to make packaging. I probably will make a part two and add packaging. So yeah, bye guys.